Good morning, um, Davenport family. It's nice to meet you in person, and thank you for coming down on such short notice. Again, very sorry for your recent loss. Thank you, Mr. N Nier Nil Nimcrut. <clears throat> it's German. Oh. Can I just call you Steve? All right, Steve, I have a hair appointment at four, so let's get this rolling. My name is Mark, but that's not relevant. Um, please, call me Mr. Nimcrut. Thank you. Okay, so, did your husband have a will? How can you ask me that? His name was Bill! No, Mom, Will. Like last will and testament? I knew a guy named Will once. He really liked cheese. I think we had a will, but I'm not sure. We haven't discussed it. Since he got a goatee and frosted tips. Do you know what a will is? The function of a last will and testament is to provide specific guidance on things like who will inherit property, when and how beneficiaries will inherit that property, and who will be in charge of administering the estate. A will may also be used to name guardians for minor children. Generally, only three types of assets will pass by a will. First, assets owned individually. Second, assets owned as a tenancy by entirety, which in some states is joint ownership with the right of survivorship with additional protections for real estate. And third, contract assets. These are assets that are typically fully controlled by the owner during life, but transfer automatically at death to designated beneficiaries, and a will applies where no beneficiary was actually named. Dying without a will, known as intestate, can cause a number of challenges, including the distribution of property or state law, which may or may not reflect your wishes. In addition, potential administrators of the estate may be subject to bonding requirements in the absence of named administrators, and the timeline for administration may be increased, which can drive up costs pose logistical issues due to the delay in the distribution of funds, and lead to an increased risk of family turmoil. You can learn more about the importance of a will by listening to episode 53 of the Simply Tax podcast, where I sat down with guests Emily Kimball and Gretchen Clyburn to get practical tips on approaching the complex world of estate planning within the intricate emotional realities of life. Check it out at bkd.com slash simplytax. Thank you.